So people have been asking me my opinion on what's the dirt's Drake Family Matters breakdown. Personally, I thought it was like all of his other videos, very well put together, a lot of research put into it, good production value. I think me and what's the dirt, we agreed on what the strongest part of Drake Family Matters is. We agreed on like the strongest parts of the song, which is I think that last B switch where Drake is really zeroing in on Kendrick. And there's that bar. Well, maybe I'm Prince, but you actually Mike. Michael was praying his features would change, so people believe that he's actually white. Top will make you do features for change. Get, Get on pop records and rap for the whites and wait. Me and What's the Dirt both agree in our separate Drake Family Matters breakdowns that the strongest part of the record. I think me and What's the Dirt also agree that Family Matters is going to be looked at differently in the future than it is right now. I always compared it to how the takeover by Jay-Z is looked at differently within the whole context of the Jay-Z and Nas beef years later. People will go back and say, well, Takeover was the best song. Takeover, you know, was the strongest record out of all those records. It's better than Ether. Therefore, did Nas actually win that beef? Because Jay-Z had the better records. I think people in the future will look at Family Matters like that, but I just think it's an erroneous way of looking at it. Sure, you can go back and you can say, okay, after years and years later, um, maybe a younger person 20 years from now will look back at this Kendrick and Drake beef. They weren't even here. They're not even alive yet. Uh, but in 20 years, they'll look back and say, oh, well, well, I think Drake actually won that in hindsight because Family Matters, they might feel it's the strongest record. It's just an erroneous way of looking at it because although, yes, you can go back and you can hear songs differently and call the songs like, okay, this is a better song than this, and you can rank the songs, but it's never gonna defeat the actual reaction of the people at the time. So no one who was actually around for Jay-Z and Nas feels that Jay-Z won that beef. Like when the takeover came out and then Ether came out, no one feels that Jay-Z won that beef, who was actually there at the moment. So you can go, you can go back and say, oh, the blueprint too, and take over all the stronger songs. If, but you can't then can't make the inference that therefore Jay-Z won the beef. It's just not how it's going to be looked at. But I think Family Matters is a good enough record to where people, there are going to be people, especially years from now, who feel that it's the best record. But you cannot make the inference that Drake won because of that record. It's, I mean, the beef is it's over, or at least this round. I know people have certain issues with certain parts of what's the dirt's reaction to this. I of someone i appreciate what's there's videos but i mean i've said in other videos that like the kendrick 616 in la i took a lot of heat for this i said like firstly i said this song does not require 616 in la it does not require a two one two three hour breakdown videos like this are great for hip-hop it puts a focus on lyrics i think you guys are choosing the wrong rapper to do this with like kendrick lamar is not deep enough to require a one hour breakdown i said in another video kendrick is not this super deep layered type of rapper, like a Billy Woods, like a Lupe Fiasco. His lyrics are not coded. Like he's Kendrick Lamar in pretty much every song. He's kind of laying everything out there for you. Like he's not speaking in code to where you have to like go super deep and then break down layers and layers. It's, he, he's not that type of rapper. I've said this again. I like the 616 in LA breakdown, but I said it just doesn't require this much study. You know what I mean? And I felt there were reaches. Like, you guys still feel that Kendrick Lamar is rapping from Drake's perspective at the beginning? Cool. I don't, I didn't get that when I, I and I don't get that when I listen to the record. But again, I am happy to be wrong about that. But that's just an example of one thing that I felt was a reach on the 616 in LA, which is, I mean, which is fine. When we break down these videos, we're not going to get everything right. When I, when I break down um, lyrics and songs, I'm not going to get everything right. The odd thing is, is that, People will accept all the inferences and references that What's the Dirt makes on the 616 in LA breakdown. But when there are reaches on Family Matters breakdown by What's the Dirt, it's this huge issue. Or it's like, you're looking too much into it, or this doesn't require that much study into this. But it's like, this is the same guy. It's the same guy who did the 616 in LA breakdown. So what is your issue? Is your issue that he's reaching or is your issue that he's giving Drake props on one of his songs? Again, I'm someone who pointed out, and I'm a Kendrick supporter. I do not listen to Drake's music like that at all. But I'm someone who pointed out that the 616 in LA breakdown was just, there were reaches and it felt a bit too much. I even did a video kind of mocking the Kendrick fans or not the fans, 
was a dick writers who look so deep into every little aspect and say, well, Kendrick, he wore a, a white t-shirt because white represents purity. And it was two weeks after Labor Day. And he it was he waited two weeks because Drake waited two weeks to sign to Young Money and Drake is ref and then like I made a whole video. It was called the Not Like a Super Deep Breakdown, basically mocking that type of thing. And you have the 616 in LA breakdown by What's the Dirt. You have the Drake Family Matters breakdown by, by What's the Dirt. And one reaction, you guys, you guys give credence to all the reaches and references, and, and you guys give credence to them. And people are telling me, well, if you didn't understand all the little references, you need to go watch What's the Dirt's video. And if you don't understand it, basically, I'm not smart enough to understand it. Cool. Okay, I'm not smart enough. But then you have the same exact guy that makes the same type of breakdown video for Drake. But now it's like, well, he's reaching. It doesn't require this much. And so is your problem with the reaching? Because that's there on the 616 in LA breakdown. Or is your problem with What's the Dirt just making a video like that for Drake? A Drake breakdown in general. Because you feel like he should be Team Kendrick because he made his great breakdown for Kendrick. Was, you feel like basically he's betraying you as a Kendrick fan. Like, And I've said some of this stuff in other videos. Y'all couldn't accept when people were saying that he was reaching on his 616 in LA. This is once the same dude making these videos. He's not capable of reaching when it's a Kendrick song, but he's reaching all over the place when it's a Drake song. Even in What's the Dirt 616 in the LA breakdown, I there are parts where I thought he was reaching, but that doesn't invalidate the rest of his video where he made great points. My overall thoughts, like I just don't think Family Matters is that great of a diss record. As a song, sure, it's a good song, three beat switches, good rapping, but I just don't think it's that effective of a diss. And I mentioned this in my Family Matters breakdown. I kind of go into like each diss that he mentions. It just doesn't pass a lot of scrutiny. Like the ASAP Rocky parts. I, th I think the uh, disses at the end though, the Michael Jackson, the Prince references that Drake makes, I think those are all great. I think that's great rapping, great lyricism. And I think that like Drake super fans, and I think that's really the issue on, on both sides. Like Drake super fans stands and Kendrick super fans stands. And I, I would say I'm, I'm a bigger Kendrick supporter than a lot of people out there. Like I've seen Kendrick perform live probably what, probably more times than 95% of people watching this. I've been listening to Kendrick since 2009, probably longer than 95% of wa people watching this. So I'm as like, I have more invested. But the issue is the Drake super fans and the Kendrick super fans. Um, and, I, and what the Drake super fans will say though is, well, you're calling Drake a PDF file. And you're saying he has a daughter, but you have no evidence. Well, here goes Drake on Family Matters making wife beating accusations with, ta-da, no evidence. So I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that's that's kind of why I, I just don't feel like Family Matters is that great of a diss. It has good disses on it. I think the stuff about Weekend, basically just calling Weekend gay, um, admitting to the world that ASAP Rocky smashed your BM. There was some good Rick Ross shots, you know, um, body after body, you know, Rick reading my Miranda rights. It was some good Rick Ross shots. And it, there was a good sequence about Kendrick. But overall, I just, I have no issue with what's the dirt's video. Like I listened to the whole thing at the gym, on my way to the gym and after the gym. <laughs> like I left home, the video so long, I left home, went to the gym, came back, and then I kind of finished around that time. I didn't really take a huge issue with it. It's kind of... Like, I've already broken down a song myself, so I can already understand the song. I, I don't really don't need a breakdown of it. But What's the Dirt, he did do a good job at breaking down, like, certain things in the video that I didn't know. And then and in his research on certain things, like, man, that appears at the end of the video. I think Andrew is his name. Like, the research and the depth into, like, he goes into certain things. Like, yeah, I would have never figured that out because I'm never... I just listen to the lyrics. I don't really go that deep. So I, I did appreciate that part. Cause he did unveil so i did learn things from this video but i didn't take a huge issue with it i think the main point that we disagree on me and what's the dirt i mean i don't know i would have to talk to him but i just don't think family matters is that great of a diss record i think it's a good song but in terms of disses especially when it's just focused on kendrick i just don't think it hits that hard for me so um good video though you guys should go watch it yeah my main question to the viewers though would be why why do people accept every reach on what's the dirt's 
616 in LA reaction, but they have an issue and point out and ridicule the reaches on the Drake Family Matters joint. Like this is the same guy making these videos. <laughs> this, this isn't like Pitchfork when Pitchfork gives Iggy Azalea's album a six, but then they gave Kendrick Lamar's album a four. And then people are like, Pitchfork, what are you? Bro, they're different authors. These are two different people that are talking about albums. So you can't really, you can't just hold them accountable for this score because they gave this album this score. No, this is what's the dirt making the same video in the same type of fashion. Why do you guys have issues with the reaches on Family Matters, but not on 616? I, I kind of implicitly already know. Like, it's the elephant is in the room is like, what's the dirt is should not be allowed to make anything remotely praiseworthy of Drake. And also, what's the dirt you're not allowed to critique Kendrick because your fan base, your fan base consists of a lot of Kendrick fans because of the 616 in LA reaction that has a million plus views. So implicitly, the message is you're not allowed to critique Kendrick and you're not allowed to praise Drake. Like that's kind of what the, the message is. And I felt it myself even a little bit to a way smaller scale though. You know, after I did my Drake, you know, his bars aged terribly. Uh, and then I did the videos about Kendrick and his fan base and then the not like us <laughs> breakdown. That's when I, okay, I'm not allowed to say anything about Kendrick. Well, let me continue to make videos just so I can shake these like super fans out of my fan base. Cause I'm, my videos are going to be nuanced. Like I'm not always going to say just cause I like an artist doesn't mean I'm not going to critique them or a person politician. So if you're that type of person where you feel like you're going to hold me, like because you saw this video of mine and you liked it, that you think I'm never going to have a nuanced opinion the other way. And if I do, then I'm morally wrong. If you're that type of person, yeah, I just want to shake you out of my subscribers real quick, you know, cause like, <laughs> like we don't need that type of thing here, but yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Top5RapWebsite.com. Peace.